So for the video, this is Dennis, lesson two. Uh, he came in, we've actually just swapped leads. So he's on, a, he's on a, um, a slip lead normally anyway. But what I've done, I've put him on a control collar, which is the same as a slip lead, but it's just a collar and the stopper holds it in place, but it's much thinner. Keep your arm relaxed unless he pulls. Um, so we're just practicing a little bit, yeah. Practicing a little bit of lead work today, but we're also going to do recall as well. You're kind of keeping a lot of pressure and restraining. So we want to do, like we did last week, week before, whenever. So he really is, he's taking the mickey. For the video, I'm just going to demonstrate. So I take him. And look, there's no tension. Yeah. And he's looking at you. We yeah. noticed with the video, because me yeah. and my husband watched it last week, ignore that all time. So when dogs act better for one person than another, it's because, for instance, with me, if he did this with me and tried to rag me across, as hard as he's trying to rag me, I'm going to do the same back to him. So I follow through with actions, what a lot of owners do, or emotionally you think, oh, I don't want to do that, it's mean. So what I've just done, I've just, we've just uh, swapped collars. I've put him on a martingale collar because we're going to do recall work, so you don't want them on a slick collar or anything for recall work and the first thing he did when I give him a bit more lead was go as though he was going to set off running so what we do when we swap leads is or if you let him off lead on your land you want to let him off and then you want to have your treat on his nose so when you unclip the lead he's going to sit around longer and then you release the treat and then as you release the treat go on move off tell him free go on whatever your release command is so that you get a release command you see now he wants to stay around me yeah because you're going to give him something free. but what you don't want to do is unclip his lead and then go because yeah. if you do that or worse still if you're trying to unclip his lead and he's pulling and rearing up and doing all the divvy things to do a dog like that doesn't get off his lead a dog gets off his lead for being calm so we're going to use a long line because i know that he comes back unless he gets a scent or something yeah. so we might have a deer pop across so we can just wander around with him i'll let you do it actually so you're just going to hold the handle that's all just wander around leave the line on the floor just watch he don't wrap you up in the picnic benches call him to you call him and treat when he comes good so as soon as he comes shove the treat in his mouth we're not bothered if he sits uh, we're not going to ask him when we do recall where people go wrong they call i mean he did sit anyway but we call them to us and then they say sit and do this and that and the other and then they pay him well then you're paying him for all the stuff you've just had him doing don't know what he's done it for. recall is like you call him he comes running and you literally have your hand out there and then start bringing your hand to your leg so he comes to your leg and give the treat or you can split your one treat into two or three give one and then immediately give the other to again get him to, to learn to hang around you Call him. Prompt. Good. Treat. Beautiful. Another treat. He's hanging around anyway, which is good. Then release him and walk off. So I would say go on or free or break or whatever you want to say as you move off. Keep walking. So we never wait for the dog. The dog has to wait for us or watch us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they do know as well, they, they're not death they know they're on a long line so they know they can only go a certain distance <laughs> <Your bench is about. laughs> call him Dennis. Dennis. pull on the line because he's watching the dog Dennis. sharp pull don't keep calling just pull on the line call him now Dennis. so we don't we don't keep calling him oops we don't keep calling him when he's not looking at us and we've already called him once because we know he's going to ignore. So if we keep calling him, then his name becomes nothing. Pull him back. Dennis, come. Dennis, come. Treat. Good. And watch as well. He's sitting about two foot away and you're having to do a foot forward to yeah. get to him. So you want to do like, Dennis, come. Good. See, right to my leg. And you back up. And what he'll do, we'll start watching your hand. Let me see the demo again. Dennis, come. Good. And then my hand, I'll do. A, I'll try one last time without a treat. Mind he didn't tie you up. Dennis, come. Good. You see, so now what I've made is a hand signal. Yeah. 
So I'm coming, I'm stepping back and I'm keeping my hand glued to my leg. He's looking for his treat. <laughs> Good. Nice, that's it. Call him back. Prompt. Reel him in. So he don't win a treat for this. Because look, he's like, woohoo! He's just divvying around. So re keep reeling him in, pull him all the way to you. So they don't win a treat for that. If we have to reel them in, no prizes. And we can't even say good boy because we have to reel them yeah. all the way in. So turn and go the opposite way. Good, wait for him to be distracted. Mind he doesn't tie up. This also will improve your, your bond and your lead work because he's bouncing along and he's watching you all the time. So you can do all your different direction changes and everything and he should keep you in his eye or start to. It's a great game for him, this. <laughs> yeah. It's like Bambi. Call him. Good. So now be careful, because what you're doing is just using his name. So we need Dennis, come. Or here, or what, get here. Whatever your command's going to be, it doesn't matter. The name is for attention, but then we need the command as the instruction. Because what we're going to do eventually, uh -uh, is drop it. So here. Yes, good. So then we, we drop the name and we just have the, the command here. Yes. Bring them right to your leg. But at the minute, name and then instruction. You're very slow with your instruction. <laughs> kind of the two together. Dennis, come, boom. Good. Nice. Keep it moving. So every time he pulls back, give the same pop that you would on the lead. Just that little flick second. That's it. So again, every time he bounces one way, you're going to turn the opposite way. We're not going to let him keep pulling. Now, because we put him up on summit, so now we're going to say, well, you can watch the other dog. We don't mind you watching, but we do object to you lunging and being a divvy. So as he's watching, you're going to drip feed him. I'll let you do it rather than me. And you're just going to give him little bits, but we're going to get him so he's lucky. See how he's looking at me all the time? Yeah. We're going to get it so he's looking at you. Oh, now we've got more dogs. We've got dogs everywhere. You see there, that was an anxious... Yeah. Oh, my God, but there's all these dogs that I could be running with. You can see him shaking. Can't Turn him. To face away, yeah. Put him at this side. So you want him facing away. Because what we don't want to do is be rewarding him while he's looking at the dogs. So we're teaching him he can be around dogs without jumping all over them. And if he can't do that, he don't win any biscuits. Yeah. So he's not gonna do it, so take him off and just work him, just do like some lead work, but use that long way learning curve because we've got the distractions but at a distance yeah they're all out today aren't they very busy <laughs> i'm wondering if you've signed them up i know <laughs> it were busy on sunday i'll tell you that were at 10 o'clock i thought blimey call him good beautiful and then give another treat to keep him with you see how we took the treat and then looked at the other dogs yeah so this is why we sometimes we load our hand with multiple treats you're all Dennis, come. Beautiful. But this, see, we're making it a game. Look, he's like, what am I doing? Am I bouncing to both of you? Yeah. We make it a game, and again, the game becomes, well, I want to be with you because it's fun, this. I like this. I might get a toy, I might get a treat, I might get praise, I might get nothing, but I'm going to come back just in case I do. I did think about buying a ball on a string to take out with me, so it's something to shake. Yeah. 